everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial for back to school because I know a lot of you are going back to school whether you're in high school and middle school. I don't know if you should be wearing makeup from middle to primary onwards. For high schoolers, I thought I might do a really simple look that you can achieve through drugstore makeup because I know a lot of you are tight on pocket money. So I'm, today I'm going to be using the All May Intense Eye Color Quad and this was a quad that you guys requested that I do a tutorial on so I thought I might do that. You might think that this I look is too smoky for back to school, but for me, I have smaller eyes, so I tend to oomph up my eyes using a little more smoky. So if you're not into like super smoky looks and more neutral looks, then you can sort of lighten the load on the dark shadow. But in the tutorial also, just warning you that I do have, it looks like my skin doesn't match, my face doesn't match my neck. That's just because of the lighting, because there's a lamp that shines the light onto my face. So of course it's going to be darker looking here. Don't make any comments on that because it's just a waste of your time. Because as you can see, it matches perfectly. So it's just the lighting. A lot of things are just the lighting. I need to fix that lighting. But other than that, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and do look forward to a giveaway at the end of this video because I have something, a little back to school present to show you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna start with sunscreen and this is the Leaders Clinic Sensitive Sun Cream. This is really, really good. You can find this at Guardian in Singapore for like 30 bucks. I that all over my face. gonna apply a primer and this is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. At first notice when you squeeze this out it looks kind of orange which might scare you at first and I've finished mine basically but it looks kind of orange but don't be scared because that's what it looks like it looks kind of orange don't be scared because it blends out evenly and it kind of corrects my skin tone which is really really good. I don't know about the lasting power of this primer but it does make my foundation go on a lot easier because it's so smooth. Okay, so after I apply my primer, I'm going to use my foundation. And today I'll be using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Makeup because it's really relatively cheaper than the Maybelline foundations and things like that. And if you're doing, you know, a back to school, you're probably living on pocket money. So buying a foundation that's pretty cheap in Australia might be for you. And this is a pretty good foundation in my, you know, I've tested it out. So you just squeeze it out of the tube. And you can apply it with your fingers if you don't have a brush. You can apply it with a sponge as well, but I'm going to apply it with my Smashbox 13 brush, which is, I know, not a drugstore item, but you can apply it with any foundation brush that you have in your collection or even with your fingers. So I'm just going to go apply that onto my face. And you can see that it's quite nice, quite a nice finish. It covers also very well. My color is a natural fawn, which is also equivalent to an NC30, or a nude color in Maybelline. The next thing I'm going to do is apply my concealer. I'll be using the Maybelline Cover Stick, and I have a few acne scars here. I always have redness here, so you kind of just draw the concealer onto your skin. And I really do like this concealer because it does cover very well. I probably look like I'm tribal or something right now. And blend out with my fingertips like this. I'm gonna then use the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch which is also a highlighting concealer for my under eye circles. So to eliminate your eye under eye circles what you do is you look at your mirror like this you put point your chin downwards and then you can see the eye bags more clearly than if you were to do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead with my pen squeeze a little bit out. I don't really like the brush of this application. I think it's not precise enough, in my opinion. It's kind of like straw, but I'm going to bend my head downwards and then just dot lightly, just like that. I don't have much eye bag, so I'm not gonna use a lot. And if you use too much of a concealer under your eye, it can cake up, or even worse, it can look like a white panda, a reverse white panda, that's what I call it, when people put way too much concealer under the eye. So I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder, which looks like this. And I'm going to use a brush. Just use any fluffy brush or any brush you have. I'm going to use my MAC brush because I don't have really anything drugstore that's a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to just dust that all over my face. Some brushes to recommend from the drugstore are the Artiste Professional brushes. If you've seen those at Priceline, they're near the nail section not Sally Hansen, but the other nail section. 
and they do provide pretty good brushes. I'll apply my bronzer and this is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer that people are talking about. This one's in Sun Bronze and I'm just going to apply that to cheeks. So I'm just going to use a contouring brush. You can use any small, maybe a small blush brush or you can even take your powder brush and just manipulate it like this to do it like that. But I just decided to use my contour brush anyway. It doesn't really matter uh, what tools you kind of use as long as you get the stuff on your face. I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Expert Wear Blush. And this one's in Brick Rose, which is a really nice color. And I'm just going to use that. I'm just going to apply that onto my cheeks. And this is a really nice color because it's a lot like um, the Match Your Tone in Blush Baby. So I'm going to start with the Australis Eye Primer. And this one's in Matte. I'm just going to dab that onto my eye. I'm going to use the Alme Quad, and this is one of my favorites now. This is the Intense Eye Color. This is also for brown eyes. And apply that all over my lid. Like that. Brightens up your eye. I'm going to use the brown and with a pencil brush. And this is the Sigma E30. Now, if you don't have a pencil brush, you should really go get one. It's one of the most necessary brushes there are because you can apply the color very specifically and you and especially if you have Asian eyes which I do because I like have smaller eyes this is a really good brush to have because sometimes the brushes don't fit into my eye which is really annoying so I'm just going to apply that into the outer corner again this is like an everyday smoky look that you can do for school and it's a really nice fall look as well so what you do is you just apply the color in the outer corner and then you kind of work towards the crease and your lid line I'm going to again bring it downwards see that's that's why the pencil brush is so good because if you want to apply eyeshadow onto your waterline it's very easy you kind of just do this and I'm going to apply the white shade into my inner corners and that will just brighten everything up I'm just going to blend that into my crease. And then a trick is to take this color with your fingertips and then just apply that into onto the middle. And that gives your eye like tons more dimension. I'm going to use an eyeliner and this is one of my favorite eyeliners now. It's the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast. It's such, such a good eyeliner because it's very smooth when you apply it and it stays on for a really long time. Just imagine the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. This is a great dupe for that. Plus it stays a little longer than the 24-7 liners in my opinion and it's cheaper. Try to get it relatively thin because then you will ruin your eyeshadow look. But again, people have different preferences on eyes anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm just... Make sure your brush doesn't really have any color or you'll ruin your look. I need to put mascara on, so I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. The Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I don't really like it in my opinion. I think it's alright for a mascara. It doesn't really do much for me, but I'm just going to apply that onto my lashes tends to droop throughout the day as well it's not bad though but so I'm going to use for my brows the ZA brow pencil which is also retractable which is awesome because I hate sharpening things and I'm going to apply that onto my brows so for lips I just took off my foundation off my lips and I'm going to apply the glam shine volumizer which is from L'Oreal and this is a lip gloss it plumps up your lips and you can see exactly why it's awesome. So that is what it looks like. It's very natural, but it feels like it looks a lot bigger slightly. Um, yeah. So I hope you like my tutorial. So I have a little back to school present for one of you. It is the Kate palette so I was kind of looking at my collection for things that I am not using and this is the Kate ER13 collection. Kate is a Japanese brand. Japanese makeup is awesome and Kate is under Kanebo so if you want to win this you can. Um, the reason why I picked it out was because it has the same kind of palette so it has the white, the dark brown and the, also the pink as well as a few eyebrow shades that you can use. So I thought this was a really good palette to have for back to school so if you would like to win this palette all you have to do is comment in the section, comment uh, 
comment in the comment section below telling me what your goals for school are. So is it to get better grades? Is it to join the basketball team? Is it to do art or like, you know, join some cheerleading competition? I don't know. Tell me your goals for school are and then I'll count that as an entry to my random.org that I will do on September 10th. So comment before September 10th and you'll be in the running to win this awesome palette that you can do to create this look and also tells you how to use it on the back. And you can try a new makeup brand if you haven't tried Kate before because it's not available in Australia or the United States, but it is available in Singapore. So check that out. And I have to go to class. So I'll see you guys later and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye. Rosanne Tang RS.